The word ze, zayin he, is demonstrative. Chazal understand every time the Torah uses the word ze, Hashem doesn't just instruct Moshe on how to do a mitzvah, but He shows Moshe what that mitzvah is going to look like. When the Jews are in Mitzrayim and they're instructed to perform the mitzvah of Kiddush HaChodesh for the first time, the Torah says, HaChodesh Hazel Lachem Rosh Chodashim. Hashem doesn't just tell them to do the mitzvah, but He shows them what the moon will look like at the time the Kiddush HaChodesh is supposed to be performed. When the Jews are in the Midbar, and they're building the Mishkan, and they're building the menorah for the first time, it says, This is what the menorah should look like. Hashem doesn't just tell them how to make it, this complicated structure, one piece of gold. But Hashem shows Moshe what that menorah is going to look like before they begin building. For these two examples, it makes perfect sense. But this week, Parsha Shkalim, we read about the mitzvah of the Machatis HaShekel, and the Torah says, Ze Yitnu. Consistently, the Medrash tells us that Moshe was shown a fiery image of a coin. But it seems a little bit surprising. The menorah was complicated to build. And the moon, it waxes and it wanes. It's hard to know when the Kiddush HaChodesh is supposed to be done. And how the moon is going to look like when we do it. So for those two mitzvahs, it makes sense that Moshe was shown what they would look like exactly. But doesn't Moshe know what a machatzis HaShekel looks like? Has he never seen a half shekel? What's so unique about the Machzah HaShekel? What's so complicated about this mitzvah that Moshe needed to be shown exactly what it looked like? Stay tuned. The Noam Eli Melech one of the 18th century's greatest Kabbalists, understands that the vision of Moshe being shown a fiery coin isn't as much about the coin itself as it is the fiery image. He explains that fire has great potential, but it can also behave in a catastrophic way. Fire heats us up in the cold. Fire cooks so that we have what to eat. But at the same time, fire burns and fire has the potential to kill. Says the Noam Ali Melech, money is the same. With our money, with our financial success, we have tremendous opportunity. Opportunity to do chesed, opportunity to fulfill mitzvot, and to give tzedakah. But if we use our money recklessly, it can be of horrible consequences. The Machatzis HaShekel, which according to many, is an atonement for the Chet HaEgel, reminds us that with the money that we have, we have the opportunity to do tremendous things. Gold and silver can lead us astray. They can cause us to sin. But if we use them properly, they can be the vehicle for accomplishing great opportunities and fulfilling great mitzvahs. The Gemara in Megillah tells us that it was the Machatzis HaShekel that saved the Jewish people in the times of Haman. The Machatzis HaShekel, which is brought in the beginning of Adar, was the key to their success in fighting away the decrees of the Purim story. The message of the Machatz HaShekel remains as true today as ever. As we head out to Pak Mishloach Manot this year, we need to remember the message of the Noam Eli Melech, what the Machatz HaShekel conveys, and what it tells us about Purim. If we become obsessed with the financial and the physical, if we become so focused on one-upping each other with our Mishloach Manot, then the entire process becomes counterproductive. One message to take with us from the Machatzis HaShekel, especially going into the holiday of Purim, is to remember that the Machatzis HaShekel needs to be given as a ze yitnu, as a fiery coin, being cautious and focused on what the mitzvah is supposed to be. If we have that perspective, if we keep the message of the Machatzis HaShekel in our minds, then we'll be able to take this great mitzvah of Mishloach Manos and bring Saso and Vesimcha Vikar to everyone around us. I love the same